on YouTube, Ali Dope. I'm checking in once again with another Photoshop tutorial. Yes, sir. Now, I know everybody's slapping that new gunner. I don't know what you listen to if you're not. The current trend in using statues and Hall of Fame busts is what this Photoshop tutorial is inspired by. Various artists, including Gunna and Polo G, to name a few, have been using the whole Hall of Fame statue bus idea for a lot of their cover art. I think the statue concept is really cool, especially if you're in GOAT status. It just cements your legacy. We've evolved so great over the years that even the NFL had to start implementing the bronzing process to cement their Hall of Fame legacies. So how did Gunna do it? So now we can't really directly replicate what, he, what his process is. We can only be inspired and do it the best way that we know how. Ozzy Gunn is rich. So <laughs> Gunn hired and worked and collaborated with a contemporary artist by the name of Daniel Ersham. He creates a lot of cool sculptures using these same crystallized styles and stuff like that. Now, Daniel and Gunna collaborated to scan in Gunna's head, Gunna's jewelry, Gunna's uh, sunglasses to create like a 3D print and sculpture. So you have that and then you print it out. Uh, if you know anything about 3D printing, you can literally print out anything. So as long as you can get the scans right, you can make it any, any way that you want. And he has a different, a different type of style that involves these crystals and things like that. I think it's really cool. So without further ado, I'm sorry I ripped y'all up. I just had to give y'all a little bit of history and the thought process behind some of these covers. I feel like sometimes people just want to get into cover art and just jump right into it. But it's a lot, it, it's deeper. It's like, it's still art at the end of the day. So I still want to kind of implement some of those elements when I'm telling you guys about how to do certain things. So you're just not like, oh, it just came from, oh, you should know the history behind art. Anything that you put yourself or get into, make sure you fully flesh out all the information that's involved with anything that you're trying to do you should be reading it studying it watching documentaries about it like <laughs> how else are you supposed to get better but without further ado let's hop into the computer all right so we're gonna hop into the computer and get started okay so pretty much want to start off with a simple base um go ahead and make this base like a light gray like with a bluish grayish it's a, a it's all depends on what your background is and what you're trying to do though Mm. And then you're gonna add a gradient mat or a gradient, add a gradient. Go like that. Boom. Pick two colors. Two light grays is pretty good, like a light gray and a lighter blue. You're gonna make it like a radial, so it's like a nice centerpiece right there. So you get that nice uh that nice glow in the middle. After that, you want to start bringing on bringing over some of your images that you're gonna use. All right, bet. So now you got your main image here. Okay, bet. So you're gonna take this image here. We really just only want this top half. We don't want it humongous. Um, that's cool right there. We're gonna go ahead and rasterize this. Select the subject. We want just Kobe. Boom, double check it. In and out. Delete all that extra stuff. Boom, move this down a little bit. And we're just gonna cut pretty much all this off. We want a nice flat base. I'm gonna do it right above the fingers. Boom. That gives a nice little bust look. We have our image, we just cut out our image. If your image is not already black and white, um, go ahead and desaturate it or make it black and white. Do that now. Then after that, you're gonna go ahead and image adjustments. You can go up to shadow and highlights. And um, the thing about uh, statues, they don't really have too many uh, shadows. So you're trying to make it like the shadows as light as possible, like pretty much all the way to 100. And the tone, you want to kind of like think, like I said, you're making a statue. So you want everything pretty much even as possible. So you got to play with these settings for yourself. Like if you do that radius, it goes a little bit dark. This makes it a little bit light. You want to work for what works for you. Boom, all right. Same thing with highlights. You don't want too many highlights because this is a statue. Boom. There's good. Boom. And I do want to take off some of the brightness and the contrast because you don't want it that 
dark. You want it as bright as possible, really. So boom, bring that brightness up a little bit. Bring that contrast. You want that contrast flat as possible. So probably put it like 15. Boom. All right, boom. Cool beans. You want to go ahead and make a folder. Just name this bust. Put the Kobe in there. You're going to go ahead and duplicate your image. After you duplicate your image, you're going to go ahead and turn on this mixer brush. So we can go ahead and start getting in these details. You feel me? All right. So this is where all the magic happens, really. And I did this tutorial back uh, a while about some oil painting uh, effect. So it's pretty much that same one. If you want to go ahead and watch that tutorial to get like a deeper idea of the mixer brush, then go ahead and watch that. Rasterize this. You can go ahead and make sure these are checked. This one right here, I think this is clean the brush. We're gonna go with a 95 wet, load as 100, mix 83, flow is at like 27, 25, and make sure this piece right here is checked too. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and go into the eye. Boom. And as you can see, it's gonna start um, making it like statue like. So go ahead and get in there. Like I said, and you wanna kind of follow the flow of where the, the light is coming from. So if it's like, boom, boom, there you go. So I'm about to speed this up. And the key to this is take your time with the painting because this is the the major key. Make sure all that hair is smoothed out. Like even if it's hair, you want it as smooth as possible. After you finish the mixer brush and you go ahead and smooth out the skin, smooth out the eyes, smooth out all of the eyebrows, skins and stuff like that, you should have an image that looks something like that. A nice flat, great looking image. And you see it's starting to already mix in already with that whole like flat look. So go ahead and create this clipping mask just so all those outside edges can go ahead and be clipped to the actual cutout. And then the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and filter. We're gonna go to camera raw filter. We're gonna go ahead and use this noise reduction to get that nice smooth look. So now, as you can see, it's still kind of, uh, still kind of like texture. You got a lot of texture in it, so we're just gonna go ahead and smooth that out. And then you smooth that out by using this noise reduction tool, and then just going out. And as you can see, all the image, all the changes that we just made, it goes from a bumpy skin to a nice smooth skin, like a statue. Boom. We can go ahead and line it up with the the haze a little bit, bring a little bit of texture back to it if we would like. Once again, bumpy shadows up in here. Keep the whites like right here is cool. Try to bring that contrast, like I said, all the way down because you want it. It's a it's a statue, so you want to try to get that statuey feel. Boom. All right, so I made a quick a couple of adjustments. I made the color, noise reduction, and then these are my settings for the camera raw for the images I use. I played with the contrast a little bit, the highlights, the shadows, the whites, the blacks, and I messed around a little bit with the texture clarity and the dehaze. And my final image is gonna look like that. You gotta make the adjustments that's gonna work for you. You can go ahead and press okay. Yes! It's looking more like that statuey vibe, I'm messing with it, man. So we gotta get this thing some texture, you feel me? So we are gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Let's give it a little bit of stone texture. Go ahead, boom. Let's add a little bit of 
texture there. Find a good spot. That's kind of thing you want, like kind of smooth around the head right there. Boom. Go ahead and add the clipping mask. Create clipping mask. Boom. Adjustments. You're gonna make that black and white, whatever texture it is. If you're doing something that involves some color and stuff like that, you can always use color in your stone textures too. Like I said, this is just a base, but take the base and then run with it, you guys. All right, so boom, we're gonna go ahead and multiply that. I'll probably move this down just a little bit because I want it there, but I don't want it like it's so nice, smooth textures, limestone textures, stuff like that. But it, it seems a little bit too plain, so you wanna add a little bit more realism into the image. So we're gonna add uh, a little bit of rocks this looks like looks like it's eroding a little bit all right so pretty much what we have is that copy that we just made has the limestone texture in it stuff like that so what we're gonna do is create a mask on the bus copy you're gonna go ahead and control click on this image till you get this little square dot right here that's gonna give you your um your selection you're gonna take on the mask right here boom oh shit I always do it wrong, bro. All right, so we need to add we we need to add a mask onto this bus copy layer. So we're just gonna turn it on. Click this, click Control, select your image for your main image, right? And then you're gonna click this bus copy, and then you're gonna click this mask one. It's gonna create an automatic mask underneath. Go ahead and create a mask on this one as well. And pretty much all we're gonna do is take this. This is the image of our stone texture. Go ahead and control command or command or control I. You're gonna invert it. Now you're not gonna see anything, right? So for this, now we're do we really wanna paint on it to bring back some of the details. You're gonna paint white on it. I'm gonna use like some sort of grunge brush just so it can have like that grunge textury rocky feeling on it. Boom. So we'll we'll fast forward to this. Pretty much pick all the spots that you want to be eroded, like this forehead here. Boom. I know I want this, some of this to be gone. This here, I know I want this to be gone. Matter of fact, I want this to stay. All right, you guys, so like I said before, you got your pretty much your set image. You started adding some erosions to it, but now you gotta add that realism into it to make it seem like, oh, it was falling off. So you would have to erase some of the main image on the actual bus. Add like a rugged looking line. We're gonna go ahead and mask this out right here. And this is on that main bus image right here. This one, turn this one back on, right? And then we're gonna do that same thing, control. Command I, select this bus here, that white part, and then you're gonna paint on the bus the copy here. So then you can just delete. Oop. You press Command Shift I to switch the the inversion, and then go ahead and just delete that. Boom, or not delete it, mask it out. There you go. So now it looks a little bit more rugged. And you wanna do that for each little piece that you see it coming out. So like right here, we need to do some, let's do some on this left shoulder here. If this is the base of the statue, I'm not gonna go too crazy because it's probably a simple tutorial or whatever, but I would suggest if you're going for that real gunner look or something like that and you wanna start adding stuff into the face, you have to sit and play with the settings a little bit practice taking pieces out adding pieces in and it's all you know trial and error it's, uh, it's all up to what you want to do i'm just doing this fast because i want to show you guys um and keep it simple we're going to go ahead and group that one more time and we're going to add like some brightness contrast creatness create clipping mask go ahead and just adjust it so it gives it that that white statue look boom once again take all the contrast out boom brightness There, boom. Double click on it. I'm gonna add a little bevel into it just so I can have some 
texture in it. I'm gonna add some couture and I'm gonna add some regular texture. The bevel, inner bevel, we're gonna go chisel hard. All right, so that's pretty much it. I did emboss, chisel hard. I play with the depth, the size, and the linear. I changed it to a light gray. Uh, linear burn, I play with that a little bit. So it gives it like this fire texture right here. Now everything's pretty much looking like simple. Boom. I'm gonna do one more time. Ooh. Convert to smart object, boom, filter. We're gonna go down to filter gallery. So what I'm doing now, I'm just adding some like some other highlights and textures. You just go in here, texture, crackle or crackle or whatever the fuck. I forgot what it's called. Boom. Then you want to just adjust your settings here and just play around with them so you get that nice. Make sure you get that good depth. Boom. Crack brightness. Once again, you just want to play with the adjustments to what it fits for your liking. We don't need a lot of them, so I'm do pretty large on the spacing. Cool, bet. And this was on the copy here. So now all we gotta do, go ahead and multiply that to get these textures inside of it. And we're gonna go ahead and boom, just like that. Pretty much the statue itself, the layout, the background. To tighten it up, you're gonna put this, I grabbed the, a statue piece. To assist with your project, head over to Envato Elements. They have over 50 million royalty-free assets to use as a resource. They have a variety of 3D models, videos, photos, fonts, and more. I needed a Greek pedestal, so I selected 3D models and typed in pedestal and changed the view and downloaded the PNG. This saves precious time on various different projects and you get unlimited downloads. They're offering 50% off of a yearly subscription. That equals to $16.50 a month. Only $16.50 a month. I'll drop the link in the description below. Check it out. Maybe you can have it sitting there, but uh, the, the concept is that gonna type of look. It's not supposed to like rip it off, but it's like inspired by it. It's right there, so it looks like it's sitting on there. And I just gotta adjust the colors of the actual base a little bit, only cause it's a little off. Um, we want to adjust that brightness and that contrast a little bit. Bring that brightness down. Ooh. This is pretty much the main image. Uh, if you want to be fancy, I just take all these. I merge the visible. Oh shit! I group these up. I just like grouping them and then copying them to edit off that instead of the main image, just cause it's like less destructive. So I always copy all the images. Go ahead and convert this to a small object. We're gonna call this the copy. We're gonna go filter. Gotta touch it off with some camera raw filter. Uh, go ahead and add some more clarity to it just so it gives it some more depth. Oh, there we go. Add that more dehaze to it. Boom. Yeah. Bet you just touch it up, make your adjustments as you see fit. I think that's that for real, for real. I don't really try to put too much craziness on it. I probably put some text on it just, you know, cause I'm, I'm fancy. I really hope that helped you guys uh, and it set a good foundation for your statues in the future. Once again, this was quick. So I want you guys to really sit, play with some of the settings, play with some of these ideas, make a few of them, use a few different images and see what works best for you. You know what I'm saying? So until next time, you guys, as always, keep creating, keep hustling, and y'all know what's most important. Keep learning, baby. Ali Dope, I'm checking out. Until next time, 
Yes, sir.